Beardos, weirdos, balls of ghouls, how are we all doing? Hope everyone is well. So today I'm going to be re-looking at Nuke's top five. Why? Because nobody cries when I make a Nuke's top five. Much better. So we're going to be reacting to 10 scary videos. Dare you watch alone. Obviously, I've got to tell you, go and check out Nuke and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, copyright. So I'm going to have to cut a lot of Nuke's narrations and that sort of stuff out. And just react to the content that he re-uploads whilst he shouts at people for re-uploading his work. How dare you? Hey, some dude is horrified because his cat is seeing things that he can't see. Oh. It's a vertical video, so it's TikTok. And it's got the TikTok texty stuff there. And it's a cat. Cats are knobheads. I mean, I'm highly allergic to cats, so I'm allowed to dislike them. I don't dislike cats. I dislike the allergies. But cats are weird. Like, really weird. Dogs, I love dogs. But dogs are weird. They will sit there growling at the wall for no reason. Here's Kibisu, Kibis. Hey, what's your news? Hey, Wes. Maricas, I can't go to the lab, bro. Bea, que putas, bea. Hey, Wes. Is that cat stoned? Dude. Marica? Nieves, que miras? Nieves, Dios mío, parece un... Nieves. Genuinely, I thought that might have been like a taxidermy cat for a while there, but then the eyeball just moved. What? <laughs> That's weird. I think this cat may be under the influence of anesthetic or something. There's obviously something on the cat, like an item of clothing. No. Whatever in the world this is, probably quite warm, possibly quite warm. Where would the cat be dressed in something? Has it had an operation? And this is the sort of after effects of anesthesia. Nieves, oye, ¿qué estás viendo? Nieves, nena. ¿Qué ves, Nieves? Wait, they're not going to say that's a shadow figure. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué estabas viendo, nena? ¿Por qué me asustas así? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Yeah, what? Hey. Oh, what? See? Cats and no beds. <laughs> Next clip. Next clip. Uh, a woman has got up for a midnight snack. She claims to be in the house on her own, and whatever happens next scares the out of her. Let's see what scares the shit out of her. There was a demon orb. Demon orb. This is real. This is really real. Dust or an insect. Oh, Jesus. Jackie. Hi. First of all, eating cereal straight out of the box. Get a bowl, get a spoon, get some milk. Why are you eating it straight out of the box? I've never understood people who do that. Cereal tastes like crap without milk on it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the And the Cheerios. I mean, Cheerios are nice with milk, but straight out of the box? Eh. <laughs> But I think I know what that voice was. Oh, now, that could have been just a person stood there, said hi, because, you know, we can't see there. Or there's two cats. At one point, there's only one cat in shot there, and then another one appears. Okay, what I thought were two little cats at the end are not the two little dogs that didn't bark or react. And that's adding into the narrative played here that this was something spooky. It could have been. It could genuinely have been a voice saying hi that scared the crap out of her. She's turned around and there's nothing there. Unfortunately, we can't see it because there's a fridge. Can't debunk it. Could have been real. Could have been somebody scaring her and running off and having a giggle. The fact that she sat right in front of a camera. I don't know. Who puts a camera in the kitchen like that? Hmm. I don't know, but we can't prove it either way. 
Okay, the next clip is a little girl has a camera for her birthday. This is recorded in October. Nuke's got a lot of information on this. What happens next is apparently terrifying. Take a look. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my Skibbity Toilet Collection that I just got today. Is that a Casper site doll? For a split second that looked like Casper site's got that stuffed toy of himself behind him. For a split second it looked like him. Okay. Um, we went to his toy store and Doll's they had all of these things like this cameraman, these tiny little action figures, this big Skibbity Toilet and this one. And then... What pretty creepy toys does that kid have? I saw my friend the other day and we went on a walk and we also got ice cream that day and I'm having a lot of fun. One that kind of looked acted, like a home footage movie. Who? What? There was a little white flash on the screen. That's all I saw. Okay, so there was a bass drop and a, what looked like a black block slide across the screen. So I'm going to frame by frame it. Let's see what that was. I don't know. It didn't look like a person. It looked like a black block of something just dragged. I don't know. Um, could that child have been acting? Yeah. Did it look like that child was acting? Yeah. Did that look like somebody just sort of swung a sheet behind the entryway to the, the little pop-up tent thing? Yeah. Could that girl have seen something and been freaked out? Yeah. Could something have fallen out of the room? I don't know. A um, little bit fishy to me, but again, can't prove anything. Hey, so far, I haven't debugged a thing. Let's go. Might be the realest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm scared. Oh, dear God. I hate these things. They're all the same. There's always some woman in a white dress with long black hair running down the side of the road going, la, 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 and all that shit. Or there's a carrier bag blown across the road, or just somebody sat there, or... Nine times out of ten, they stitched up, or it's just bad dash cam footage making something normal look really creepy. <laughs> that was a great scream. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> the driver manages to dodge the creepy stranger, but the two. Okay, so I'm again going to look frame by frame. There is something already there. Now, whatever that is, is actually there. If we look at it, the headlights are illuminating whatever that is. And the central and the side reservation is casting a shadow. 
And as they round there, it starts to disappear as the headlights cut away from the bend in the road. There's clearly something there that is reflecting off the headlights. Do ghosts reflect off lights? I can see, at a quick glance when you're driving, if you saw this with your own eyes, I could see why you'd be freaked out. I'm judging by the scream, they did. You don't drive watching your dash cam footage. But it's definitely just something reflecting off the headlights. Don't know what. Again, can't debunk it. Be stranger, but the two guys have no idea who would be out walking in the middle of the road at 1.41 in the morning. There was nobody walking. That was a stationary object that looked like it was moving because the car was coming around a bend and the headlights and the light reflection made it look like it, it was a stationary object. It looked like it moved past the car because the car was moving. You know what that could be? Is a person stood on the side of the road that is illuminated by the headlights. As the car comes around the corner, it starts to illuminate them. And as the car comes out of the corner and the headlights are going up a straight road, it de-illuminates from them. It could just be a person. Now, Nuke claims that that thing was walking. No, it wasn't. It was stationary. It was the effect of the headlights passing that made it look like it was moving. Obviously, the car is moving. The headlights are constantly dead in front of the car. That wasn't moving. Possibly just a person stood there. Or, because that's what all ghosts like to do, is just stand on the side of the road. Hmm. I've thrown all the forks in the kitchen. Let's just go stand on a bend in the road. Freak some people out. The other option is, it's a goat. You know, the other option is, it's one of their mates. They've just gone to stand there, they drive past. Oh, hey, send it a nuke. Get some moolah. Right, nuke actually says there, is it a ghost? Or is it just a stranger stood in the side of the, ro stood in the, side of the road? I'm inclined to think, it's just a stranger stood on the side of the road. Okay, this guy is a stealth camper. <laughs> He's apparently made videos camping in public toilets, at Walmart, behind his neighbour's shed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sleep in your bed. It's far more comfortable. I keep feeling like somebody's watching me. And then seeing that person. I know it's a public park, but still. Then, as night falls, Sam's concerns turn into a real-life nightmare. There's somebody. Hang on. I don't know if they can see it or not through the tent. I don't think so. I'm leaning right up against the light, but somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. They're getting closer. Hang on. Hang on. As this guy's already said, he's in a public park. Public parks in America are a lot different to the UK. These things are huge, full of... These things are huge. But, like the UK's public parks, they're full of wildlife at night. Might not even be a human. They're really close now. They're like... Listen. Hello? Hello? While sitting in the dark, Sam hears two people walking around outside his tent, and they're getting closer and closer. Hello? Hello? All right, I don't like this. Hello? Hello? They're touching my tent. Hello? I'm getting the f out of here. Hello? Hello? I have issues with this. Oh, this guy's a stealth camper. So you'd assume he would know how to put up a tent correctly. Look how baggy this thing is. This isn't designed to stay up for the night. This is designed for a quick takedown. I, in my opinion. In my opinion. Even though saying in my opinion these days carries about as much weight as he's faking it he's faking it he's faking it because you're not allowed to have opinions on the internet anymore maybe this guy will call me a bully i don't know what the f this is but we're getting out of here hang on hello okay they're walking away now what do you want what do you want i have a knife where's my knife say something i see you They collapsed my tent on me. I don't know which way they went. It was kind of baggy anyway. Um, you're laying in a tent. And it's hello. I don't know. It, 
looks a bit fishy to me, but again, I can't prove anything. Never shows the other people. I think they went this way. I see you. Get away! All right, I'm spooked. I don't like this. Get my headlamp on the work. Getting out of here right now. They're just standing there. They're just standing there. What do you want? Two seconds. Yeah, I don't see shit. Leave me alone! They went over that way. I can't see him now. I know you're there. I see you. Couldn't see them anyway. Um, this just some guy trying to make a freaky video. I, th in my opinion, he really could have been camping in a half put up tent. He really could have had somebody walk around him while he's saying hello, shouting, "I got a knife," and screaming and shouting at himself in the distance, and they say nothing. Could have been real, or he's just trying to make a scary video. You decide. They collapsed my tent on me and pulled the fly off while I was still in there. It smells like someone's smoking a cigarette too. I smell your cigarette. I think I... All right, we're just gonna get out of here. We're just gonna get out of here. I'll come back for this crap later. Do I have my phone? I'm gonna call. Stay away from me! They're coming behind me. I don't know what they're doing. They could just be around. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. They're at my campsite. I see them. I see you reflecting off my tent. Leave my alone. All right, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> he keeps saying, I see you reflecting. I see you reflecting. And he's, he's pointing his torch about. I haven't seen nothing. Not a sausage. Zip. That tent wasn't very well put up in the beginning. It's all in on himself. And you know, if you've got a tent, you don't pull it tight. You start to get drips all over you. His sleeve was wet because of condensation dripping because it hasn't been allowed to run down the tent. He's probably, in my opinion, he's half put that tent up. Just give something a little tug so it collapses. Acted all freaked out. What a lot of shit. Or two guys actually snuck up on that tent, took the fly sheet off, walked away without saying a word, didn't giggle, didn't laugh, nothing. <laughs> One of them's following me. One of them. Okay, here's the trail of some kind. Ah! No! Ah! Ah! I just ate. Shit. I just ate. Shit. I'm soaked. I'm toast. Okay. Oh, they're coming. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Hey, guy. This isn't a horror film. You don't fall over and have time to get back up and scramble away if they're going to chase you. They'll be on you and they'll be like, What did you say about my cigarettes? How dare you? Absolute bullshit. I'm about five minutes from the car now, but I'm in the big clearing off the path. I have the high ground. I have the high ground! Okay, TikToker, fishing late at night with a friend, social media. Who the hell watches fishing videos? Don't come at me. I'm bored of fishing. I think it sucks. I was out here fishing and sirens came from this island. I swear to God, I have it on video. I'm going to play it shortly. Did you get like this? Okay. I'm going to load my cast and be gone. And she's nothing on your hook. I have a worm. Oh! <gasps> Do you hear this? Oh, what? You can explain that. That's what I was talking about. I don't know what else I could have done. They say, what the hell is that? Doesn't sound like birds. It does. Sounds like birds or animals at the very least. Stop, there's no monkeys here. Megan and her friend both hear bizarre screeching coming from somewhere out in the ocean. 
Megan thinks that she might have caught evidence of the existence of sirens, mythical creatures that lured their victims into the water to drown them. Why? Why couldn't we have just left it a spooky sound? Now, sirens are supposed to sing beautiful songs to lure sailors and seamen. <laughs> to the sides of the ship to pull them over. They're supposed to be beautiful, and then when they grab you, they turn all horrifying and shit. That was not a beautiful song to Lewis Seaman. <laughs> that was horrible screeching sounds of birds in the night. Jesus. Okay, so the next video is a birthday and something spooky wooky is about to happen, apparently. A bizarre shadow-like figure seems to run behind the elderly woman at an inhumanly fa- The fuck was that? The speedy Gonzalez. That did look like some black shadow just went Vroom! It's the ghost of Barry Allen the Flash. Right, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, we'll take it frame by frame. Right, this is where it starts to appear. And then it skips a frame or two and then is there. That's a bug, right? Like a hornet or something? I want to go frame by frame. That thing is all pixelated and squared off. There is appearing as a straight line, then a big ball. It was cast in a shadow, so it's really. It's casting a shadow, so it hasn't been added in. That's massive, whatever it is. I don't know what country they're in. What insects or animals they have. Whilst going frame by frame, this thing is moving so fast, the camera frame rate can't keep up with it. So why is disappearing in between frames? And you could say, some people may look at that and go like, ooh, it's added in because it's missing in those frames. It's not. This camera quality isn't great at all. That thing just zips past and the camera frame can't keep up with it, misses it. It's not in the focal point. The focal point is the grandmother. And even she's a little bit too far back for this quality of camera because look how pixelated she is. Yet this is a little bit more in focus, a little bit more vibrant. You know, look how bright red this strawberry is and then the strawberries back there are not quite as vibrant. The focal point of this camera is dog shit. So whatever that is, probably isn't as big as it appears. The reason it moves so quick is the frame rate of the camera, but I, I literally think that's some sort of hornet or a bat or something has just zipped through the house. And um, it's been uploaded as a ghost figure running. It's definitely not running. It's, you know, it's definitely not a figure running. Because like Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. And is that a wing? Is that a translucent wing? This looks like some sort of massive fly, like a blowfly or something. I think it's just an insect, a really big insect. I don't know what country this is, how big the insects are, but, you know, warmer climates, they get bigger insects. That just looks like an insect has zipped past. Poor camera quality has just made it look far more sinister than it really is. However, I was in my house and some buzzing f insect that big came in. My pants would be full of the brown stuff. Okay, next clip is somebody on a farm uploading TikTok content and something weird happens and it spooks the horses. Okay, this lady has a how to preserve food program on YouTube. Security camera, like a shit home security camera, all pixelated, in night vision. These things frame rate are horrible. The focal point is this. Look how close this is to the camera. Everything in the background is going to be out of focus. But that's here, that's arm, that's a t shirt, and there's a booby. And we can hear footsteps. That's a person. While everyone is fast asleep just after 2 a.m., the apparition of what Diane believes to be an older woman with long hair can be seen walking through her living room. 
Even Diane's cat can be seen in the background fearfully looking towards the strange figure. I feel that cat is fearfully looking when it's just its eyes. When cats are fearful, they hiss or they bolt. They don't just sit there and blink a couple of times. Now, Diane says that she has felt a presence in her home for... Now, look at Diane's hair. Look at that long, luscious black hair. Now, if that wasn't tied down, that would be much further down her back. Just saying. But it gets even creepier. Because when the footage is brightened, we see that whoever or whatever this is just seems to disappear into thin air. It doesn't disappear into thin air. It leaves the focal point of the camera. The focal point is normally around here. On account, it's a static camera, and this is so close to it, it's pulled the focal point towards and down a little. That is literally her. Probably got up at sleepwalking or midnight munchies or something, forgot she's done it, and then watched it back next day like, ooh, ghost. Or she's done it on purpose, because it looks like her. Right, so this is Nuke's brightened footage. Now, okay, so later on in the video, Nuke brightens the footage. Now, there's a shot of the woman earlier on. The head is tied up at the back. And the hair sits around this area. But if she let it down, it would be about this length. The woman's shape. This is clearly a t-shirt or a nightshirt. This is just that woman possibly forgetting that she's walked past this table. Now, the reason it looks like a ghost and the reason that it disappears is the focal point of the camera. Look how long her hair is there. It's the same woman. Okay, so there it is, Diane, in full living colour. Now, let's look at how high this worktop is to her. She's a short woman. Let's look at Diane's physical attributes. It's the same person. That's her walk past that camera. The hair just looks lighter because of the infrared. Because when you dye your hair black, when you get a little bit older and you have to dye the grey out your hair, I used to do it. You dye it with black, on night vision, it doesn't look the same colour. Sometimes jet black dyed hair will look bright white. Watch a Twin Paranormal video. they got two-tone hair, and in the video, it's all blonde in night vision. The hair looks lighter. It's the same length. This video, it looks... This part of the video, it looks a little shorter because she's got it tied up at the back. I'll try to be as polite as I can here. She is a um, pop-heavy lady, a buxom lady. Now, look at the lady's body shape in regards to what walked past the camera. Very similar body shape. In fact... If she wasn't wearing... Say she's gone to the fridge. Middle of the night. For a little snack. Little snackaroo. Totally forgot about it. Walks back past the camera in her nightshirt, which would give the sleeve there. Without a bra on, um, these... These um, quite full-looking boobas would be a little lower. Judging by the age of her there. No disrespect. Not being horrible. Nature. Gravity. It's the same woman clearly the same woman she's just in her nightdress doesn't have a bra on and we're on to the japanese stuff um first one or two of these i watched way back they were really cool kind of creepy but now all you see is this the hand in front of the camera pointing at stuff freaking out screaming and running that's all you see Ugh. nine times out of ten it's overlaid sounds nine times out of ten it's overlaid images did you see it? Yes, I did. Did you see it? As Tom One Hero entered the creepy hidden room, someone can be seen peeking and then quickly ducking back out of sight. The two investigators have no idea what they just captured and just continue on with their investigation. And that head was massively out of proportion. That head was massive. Massive. It's overlaid. Oh, I can't wait to see what's knocked the stack camera over. I bet it's really scary. You know what I'm going to say. And for you that are about to get pissed off. I don't care. Isn't it amazing how when people set up these cameras and these cameras fall over, they always land on something soft. A 
It's more than a bizarre, ominous face. That's the exact same face as earlier, which leads me to believe it's just the third person that's with them, designed to do all the creepy stuff like some UK ghost hunters are doing right now. The third person, throwing stuff about in the background, knocking shit over, pushing cameras o over into soft things. I wonder where they got that idea. They got it from the Japanese guys. Okay, so the head that peeked around the curtain, to me, it looked too big, possibly overlaid, but I've rewatched it. And it casts a shadow behind it. It was really there. So it's just the way it was shot made it look bigger than it really was. The shot at the end is the same face. But I think the face is really there. Okay, Nuke's top five. Did any of it freak me out? No. Did any of it look legitimate to me? No. Okay, so final thoughts. Have I debunked anything in this Nuke top five? I don't know. Did I? I don't think I did. There was a lot of... This could be this, or if we look logically, it's probably this as opposed to this. Wait, the cookery lady. Her. That was a debunk. That was her on that camera. That was actually a debunk, right? It was the same person, just with the over-the-shoulder boulder holder. That was the same woman, just with the over-shoulder boulder holder. Not on. So, yeah, I think we debunked one. A lot of it was common sense. The guy in the woods was just making a scary video, I think. Sirens. They weren't sirens, they were birds, so yeah, um, usual stuff from Nuke. Um, but, I'll be fair, I actually watched it, you won't see the Nuke reactions, but he leaves the question open at the end. Could it be, could it be, and the, the one on the road, he actually says, is it just somebody stood there? Well, yeah, I think it is. So let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below. Let me know if you want to see more Nuke's top fives, because, you know, they're a bit of fun now and again. Much love to you all, Beardo, out.